It's been a year. It's been a long, long year. It has been one year since the pandemic began, and not long afterward, long-term care facilities closed their doors to visitors. Some families have gone almost a year without seeing their loved ones. Two Works View's Katie Kelleher shares how a new bill is aiming to prevent that from ever happening again. Katie? It has been a long year for long-term care facility residents and their families. While they are now getting a bit more access with outdoor visits, this new bill would make sure this isolation never happens again. It's terrible. You feel so helpless. For nine months, Paula Naylor only saw her father through a window or a screen. He lives here at the Park Assisted Living in Tulsa, where she says he was thriving until the pandemic hit and it had to close to visitors. He has steadily just gotten depressed and a little dementia. So it's been really hard. Finally, in December, the family socially distanced to celebrate her dad's 98th birthday in person, much like this resident's 92nd birthday taking place on Tuesday. This as close as family can get. We love you. Residents and their families aren't the only ones frustrated by some of these rules. I have shed many a tear, many a night. Ms. Shane Morris is executive director at the park. She says at times many residents quit eating and drinking and are depressed from a lack of visitors and a lack of socializing among themselves. And it is the hardest thing to try to explain to them why they cannot see their loved ones, why they cannot be social and active and gather in groups. She wishes she could let them get together more, but they have to follow regulations and mandates from the CDC and state health department. It's just so much information that from week to week, we're like, okay, we can do this. No, we can't do this. It's just also been very scattered. Now, State Representative Marilyn Stark is hoping to change that. Her new bill would require these facilities allow each resident one or more compassionate caregivers, granting them in-person visits, even if the state health department restricts access to the facilities. It says whatever's going on in the world, whatever's going on in our city, we have a right to see our families. Um, we have a right to see those that we love. Something Naylor hopes happens soon. The sooner the better, because I just don't think these uh, older folks can take it much longer. The bill passed the House last night. It now goes to the Senate. Katie Kelleher, two works for you.